Good morning, everybody. Welcome to this episode of TLA. This morning, we are heading out here to Half Moon Bay, and we are going to fish for some mackerel and halibut. Uh, halibut bite has been good. If you check out my last episode, I'll leave the description here in the link. Last time me and Move were here and we did pretty good. You know, both of us had a limit of halibut and also some mackerel as well. So let's try to kind of repeat that today. Uh, the fishing here has been, you know, it's, I would say, good if you know what you're doing. Sometimes I don't even know what I'm doing. So I think that's going to be it. I'm going to actually give you some advice also about how to handle things on a kayak when you're actually looking for halibut in the ocean. Now halibut in the ocean and halibut in the bay are, they act similarly, but they're also very different, right? So the same techniques you would use in the San Francisco Bay will get you halibut, but the ones you get in the ocean, you need to tweak it just a little bit and then you should be able to find them. Now, I personally like halibut in the ocean more than I do in the bay, simply because there's a, a technical thing to it that, that I, I feel like if you understand it, you will land bigger fish because the bigger fish are always in the ocean and the, the fish that are bigger in the bay tend to come in early in the season. So um, I kind of migrate off the halibut in the bay right after my halibut tournament. Um, but but I'm going to share some little secrets with you uh, in this episode, okay? And maybe a few things about kayaking as well. It's like, why is kayaking so awesome for fishing? Okay. 2 a.m. in the car playing my favorite song Turn it up, windows down, we sing along The summer night has just begun The moon is bright, let's have some fun So the game plan today is to go look for some bait um, and then catch that bait and then go to these little sand pockets that you're going to find out out in uh, here in Half Moon Bay between the reefs. So I'll kind of show them how you guys how it kind of looks like and then we're going to see if there's any halibut laying in there, okay? Uh, preferred bait, the easiest bait at this time of the year is going to be some smelt, but I really like the sardines as well. Sardines are really good and they're really lively when they're out here. But the smelt are definitely out here and we're going to try to catch those because they're the easier bait to catch. Uh, out, joined out here with my friend Nando and so that's what we're going to do. Hopefully we'll find something, drop it down, get something. Yeah, lots of mackerel, like little tuna. Just swarming underneath me right now. Tons of them. Pulling them back in. There are a lot of schools of these Jack Max that are kind of hanging around. Pretty good bait right here. Hey, these are big, but a definitely a big halibut would take it. So, see how many of those we can get around, you know. Yeah, they're like little schools of me kind of hanging around here. So, if I kind of nice one like that, damn, nice halibut would take it. Hopefully, he's being active down there. Alright, so we can get a million of these filthy link cuts all week. So get them up, throw them back. See you there, I guess. Alright, I'm on a fish, but oh man, I think it's a filthy. Please don't let it be a filthy. I think it is a filthy. I do what? Can you, can, you, can you get these filthies off me? Limited bait. Guys, keep coming at me, bro. Look at that. So many of them. Head shakes, but I'm also getting a lot of pools. Looking like a ling. 
but I don't know. I think it's a Lingo. Look at these stupid links. Everywhere. We got what? Link cut? Oh, yeah, there. You just have to wait them out. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, stupid link cut. I hate you. So, see this? <laughs> it's so insulting. <laughs> it's so insulting to these guys. It's just throwing them over. D1. I had to wait him out all afternoon, all morning. But I finally got him. <sighs> oh, well, there you go. Man, so you just gotta grind him out, man. Holy smokes. Okay. So here's a little crazy thing about halibut. In this particular area, early in the morning, there was probably about five, six, seven kayakers, right? Just hanging around this area all morning. And the fish didn't bite at all. Um, 
And that's just halibut fishing, man. These fish will literally just look at your bait up there and they won't bite if they don't want to bite. Um, but then when they do bite, they'll bite and they'll all bite at one time. This is the craziest fishery ever. I mean, I mean, it's, I know their behavior, um, but it's, it's just like that, right? Um, I don't know. Sometimes you got to do th certain things to kind of entice them to bite, but they are what they are. Um, so that little area there was simply um, a little area between rock and sand. It was literally like a rock, 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 rock formation, and then it dropped off into sand. And right as I was about to pull up, it triggered the bite on the fish, and the fish came right after it, and then it took it. Um, but that is um, a little thing about halibut you want to understand is, is just because, you know, they don't bite don't mean that they're not there. They're literally right there. They're not like Lincoln earlier, like, who will bite on anything and everything, and they don't really care as long as it's like right in front of their face. But with halibut, you gotta finesse them a little bit. You know, you gotta wait for the tides to change. You gotta, you know, throw the right bait, and when they finally turn on, they'll turn on, and you'll get limits fairly quickly. But um, <laughs> there you go. That's halibut fishing for you. Just got on the butt right now. Slam my boot. I am. So I said before, they're very particular. So, two cookie cutters in less than 10 minutes. So they're biting. Ah, there you go. Can I explain halibut fishing to you? I don't know. They're, all I know is that they're biting right now. So number one, and dos. Two slabs. But guess what? Oh, look at this. They're eating needlefish. They're eating all the you got eating needlefish. And they ask me, you know, what are you catching, Chovy? And I go, well, I don't know when they're gonna bite, but I know they're down there. And when they do bite, they bite. So think about that, huh? All right, well that's two, so I'm done. I'm gonna chill out with Nando for a little bit. The light bite looks like it's picking up. We'll see. All right. Close your eyes. Get some rest. I'm by your side. boys. <laughs> 33 intro, thank you Chovy. How do you do today? Man, I was paddling everywhere for eight hours and nothing and then Chovy finds the fish within 10 minutes, boom boom, done. I come over and I'm just messing with my bait rod and all of a sudden Main rod goes like, and I, the big head shakes, totally different from Lane's. You can just tell what it is. And I screwed up pretty much everything you could have screwed up on that gaff shot, but still got it. Like, it was so strong that it pulled right through the stomach there. But still got him, boys. We got him. All right, guys, we're back on land. 
what an incredible, incredible day out on the water. If you kind of go somewhere fishing, you want to go to Hapu Bay because this is where all the action is. All the fish are out here. Mackerel, uh, so many lingcods that we just have to keep throwing back because DFQ does not want us to catch fish. Apparently, uh, we have a thing coming up, right Nando? Uh, tell them about the petition. Yes, um, so we are, we made a working group and we are petitioning for a non-motorized vessel exception. So if you have no boat motors of any kind and you're under 19 feet, you get to fish near shore. So look at Mumu's channel and he has the links there and everything. I'm sure Chobi will put the links too. And yeah, just show up for the meetings. That's the main thing. Let's put pressure on them. We need to make ourselves heard. Nando bid pretty darn well with this halibut. That is a very nice, nice mm. halibut as well. Also, I got uh, two beautiful halibut as well and all the macro and all the link that you guys saw in this video. It was a great day and you know, I can't ask for anything better. God, the weather's beautiful. Crazy weather. conditions. Crazy conditions. Honestly, it's not even about catching fish some days, but you know what? If you catch fish, it does feel good. All right, guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And like Blue says, where is Blue when Blue's not here? Go enjoy the outdoors. Catch you guys next time.